Hey, it's Joseph here. Today we are looking at this product over here, Comica Vimo 6. And I have used a couple of Comica products in the past, namely the wireless microphone. And I found it to be quite useful for my own setup. So I'm excited for this newest iteration of the microphone. And it is again, a wireless microphone, but in a much smaller form factor. And Comica have sent me this product for me to make a video like this. So we'll check it out. It is called Comica professional audio equipment and it is called Vimo 6 2.4 G dual channel mini wireless microphone is what's stated over here and it shows you the picture of the case or the charger and the two microphones along with the receiver that shows the status of the two and then it is meant for your phone camera and for your computer nothing much more on top other than it is stating that you got the battery case and then the two receiver therefore this one is the one that has the most amount of microphone here on the features it lists a couple of features notable things are the fact that it allows you to monitor sound mono and stereo and you can also do gain control and one click muting and it's got ips display to let you know the status of the things and also a rechargeable storage case for charging and storing and it lasts up to 20 hours and supports working while charging good and it does function via USB-C port and there is a very low latency of less than 20 millisecond working range up to 200 meters of the open area made for vlogging streaming and online meeting so for my videos where I especially need to move around quite a bit I would definitely look into using this set. So let's go ahead and open it. Okay, after the sleeve, you've got the Comica logo up there. And in there, there is a nice carrying case and some paper in here, maybe some stickers. So you got a couple of certification paper, warranty card, and then sticker for Comica. And then we got the user manual. If you wish to just kind of go through it, let's have a brief look, kind of describing what the, each parts do. I don't think there's going to be anything special to it because I would think it is quite intuitive to use. Okay. Let's open up this case nicely protected and we've got the actual microphone portion or the case portion where it charges inside very nice we'll have a look at it in a second but i want to get through a couple of things that are included in this case obviously you don't have to carry all of this at the same time but i guess it is all included in here and tucked away so first off we've got what seems to be a cable. So it is leading from USB type C to USB type A port. If you need for charging, I suppose you can use that. And then this seems to be the audio cable. So it is leading from USB type C into USB type C receiving end or a 3.5 mil jack. So I guess this is to split it off. And then this one is an audio jack going from three pole to three pole, I guess for digital cameras. And this one over here is going from three pole to four pole. Then you can feed into your smartphone if you intend to use it along with your smartphone. And I suppose this is a windscreen for the microphone. So it's got the rubber side, I guess you just put it onto the microphone bit. And these are furry wind muff if you would like to use them. I suppose I can just keep it in there because I don't typically use them as they are dropping hair everywhere. I suppose I can keep these cables in there. And let's have a look at the actual microphone bit. So over here on this specific one, we've got the Comica logo with this triangular shape down there. And then you got USB type C port 
perhaps an LED indicator. And on the back, it says model VMO 6 and spec is five volt by one amperes and nothing else other than the hinge itself that's on the back. So I suppose you just open it up like that. And there is a charge indicator, I suppose. It is not 100%, it is at 75% is what I'm guessing. Quite intuitive. And you've got the three different units here. So you can pull out this, which are the microphones, the small mini microphone. And then here is a receiver end and it's got the peel included. So let's go ahead and peel that. And as soon as I took it out of the case, it basically turned on and started picking up the sound. So as I speak, it is going up and down to let me know it is picking up. I suppose this one is one of them. I can't tell whether it is channel A or B. So it looks like this one is channel A and this one is channel B. Yeah, as far as the receiver goes, there is a nice clip in here so that you can clip it onto something. And conveniently, it is a hot shoe size. So if you have a camera, I've got both of the camera shooting right now. So I'll just demonstrate with this. So here is a cold shoe mount. So imagine this is your typical camera with the hot shoe or cold shoe on top. Then you can just slide this clip in so that it just fixes it on there on top of your camera, which is a very convenient place to store it. And it is nice and slim. So it doesn't really intrude in any way. And in terms of the aesthetics of this receiver, you've got the little logo, the consistent theme here here with the orange buttons and such but on top it is stating it is a mono channel and then the battery of this device along with the signal strength and then the volume 12 it is what it's stating and also the battery level with the transmitter or the microphone a and the level is going up and down and then same thing for microphone b and going around this side you've got the kind of contact here and to the side you've got USB type C port to either monitoring sound or charging it and here are the controls for the microphone A and then B and moving on to the other side you have the sound out 3.5 mil jack and then the mode and the power button here so I suppose you just hold that down to turn it off just like that quite intuitive or perhaps hold it down yep so it just turns on and start talking to each other. So that is quite convenient along with this clip that I had mentioned, very small profile and light as well. And let's check out this two identical microphone. This is the channel A or perhaps microphone A and microphone B and they are quite small as well. So let's go through it. So on the sides, we've got the orange button to turn it on and off. And also you can just toggle it to mute it, I suppose. So when you mute it, I can press it once and then actually on the receiver, it states that it is muted and the LED indicator turns into red, letting you know that it is muted. I suppose blue means just on and recording. So let's press that again to unmute. That is convenient. And then I suppose you can change the channel or configure it a different way with this button over here. But same thing, it's got the clip here and that is meant for you to clip it onto your clothing. Conveniently on the top, there is the microphone and this is a position where you would put that wind muff if you were to face a lot of wind so that you can just kind of shield that wind off. But again, once you put that up as a little tiny hat that goes on top of your microphone, then it will block the wind, but it will basically be a lot bigger profile when you look at yourself. I don't really need to do that right now. So let me just put that away. But again, because of the microphone being on top, I can certainly put it on my shirt. I can hang it out like this, which will be kind of distracting in some way. So you can just turn it around so that the clip faces out. And then basically the microphone is tucked inside of my shirt like this. I suppose you can just kind of hang it wherever on your shirt or in your upper chest area. But again, because it's so tiny, it is quite effective. I like that. And I forgot to mention there is the contact points for charging these three devices inside of this sort of storage case slash charger. And you can see that there is USB type C port for you to continue charging even whilst it is recording as mentioned on the manual itself. 
which is good. So let's lay this on its side and just kind of show you like that. So let's test out a couple of these cables that was included in the box. So first of all, I guess you can just monitor some sound by putting this USB type C port onto the receiving end and you can basically split it into USB type C and then 3.5 mil jack and the audio will basically go out of here for you to monitor it. So there is a headphone logo here letting you know that it is meant for monitoring. So I suppose I can connect my headphone into here and be able to monitor the sound and then charge this device via connecting USB type C for power. And then I should be able to output the audio via this port over here. So if I were to basically record through my digital camera, then I can just put this three pole end on here and then the right angle will basically go onto your camera. Or if I were to choose to record via smartphone, then I can just do this three pole over here and then this four pole goes to my phone. So let me go ahead and try that. So my phone's got the audio port over here. So the four pole goes in there. Okay, so I am starting to record. Let me see if it is recording from these microphones versus my phone here. And then my phone and then nothing on my phone itself. So it's obviously picking up the sound from the two microphones here. So let me go ahead and clip this onto my shirt so you guys could hear what is going on. And I suppose to avoid the two different source, I'm gonna go ahead and mute one of them. So I have now muted this one. Therefore, the receiver is telling me that it is picking up from microphone A. And you should now be hearing the sound too. So transferring over to this microphone over here, microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. It should be able to pick up my sound via microphone position just under my shirt, under the neck over there. And you should be able to hear me very well. So how does it sound like? And obviously you can kind of mute this one. So I suppose I can just hold it on my hand and talk to it. So what do you feel like about this type of interview style? And I can just hold that over to whomever I want to speak to and then basically ask them their opinion and then just talk back. So this could be kind of interviewee microphone type of style, or you can obviously clip this onto whomever you are interviewing. And this is what it sounds like. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. And this is what it sounds like. Obviously I'm jumping volume as I'm handling this microphone in very casual way, but this is a sound quality that you can expect to hear out of this. And obviously there's gonna be some handling noise as I handle this around. But hopefully this thing is able to kind of mitigate that. So yeah, that is very nice. And I have been already using the muting feature so you can just press the mute. So again, I have muted this one and then now I'm picking up via this microphone. So you should be able to hear me just well. So muting is quite easy and the indicator lets you know as well as the receiver. So that is all clear. Let me go ahead and monitor the sound as well. Okay, so I've got this headphone connected and I'm gonna just try and listen to it. So as soon as I have connected that, I am able to hear the sound. I started recording so I am also hearing my voice via the headset. And yeah, it actually sounds fine. I can certainly speak this way and there's not much of a delay. There is a bit of a delay that coming into my headset. So yeah, I do wanna acknowledge that. However, there isn't much of a problem in speaking where your sync is just off for you to be quite distracting in talking. But in this case, that's not really an issue. So I can certainly speak this way and be able to hear me and also see myself recording in there all well. And this is what it sounds like. 
it's really tiny and easily concealed and carryable. So I can certainly do that or just hold it up just like how I was doing earlier or even boom it from the outside of the frame on this kind of setup. So you can certainly easily clip it onto your shirt, especially if you're doing a lot of shooting where walking around kind of shot the vlogging. Or if you wanna interview, then you can certainly utilize both of the microphone feeding into a one single device. So that is all convenient and in a tiny little package that can be carried around in this carrying case. Quite convenient, I must say this button up here I can actually increase the volume and that goes up in terms of monitoring as well so one two three four so there is a four different type of volume setup as well as feed more gain for your device so I'm gonna leave it on two and that seems fine to me so you can certainly use that to control volume individually. Let me go ahead and disconnect a couple of this so that I can show you charging it. So for you to charge the device, you'll obviously drop it in there. It's gonna let you know how much it has charged of in the charging case. And then this one over here, and then there. Perhaps you can mark on the transmitter itself what kind of channel or what device it is. So I'll mark this one as A microphone and then B microphone so that I can easily indicate which is which. I would certainly put it in there and it is all packaged and ready to go. Yeah, you could put it in this carrying case nicely in there along with a couple of cables that I need to carry and you are good to go. So thank you for checking out this device with me, Comica Vimo C, and this will definitely be my device to do wireless recording in a nicely packaged charging case. And the microphones are really tiny. I really like that. If you have liked this content, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye.